Hello, so today I will talk about my research question which is called how can media be used for traditional cultural preservations? Uh, the study case is uh, talking on Blue Online. Now first, what is Token Blue Online? Token Blue Online is a game developed by Nature Plus in two uh, thousand in twenty fifteen, and can be played. The game can be played on both PC and mobile phone. It gained popularity after its official releasing and still growing in the numbers of players, both Japanese and international players. Uh, the game is focusing on Japanese souls myth, and the player protects history by summoning souls of Tsukumogami to fight against the historical Retrograde Army. Uh, it has many adaptations such as manga and anime and also musical and uh, stage uh, adaptation. So what is the popularity of the game has to do anything with the cultural reservation? So with the game's popularity on the rise in Japan, its adaptations soon attract many more new fans, creating a community of players who are getting more interested in the Japanese traditional crafts such as swordsmith. And this group of fans, according to Japan Forward, are being called as Token Joshi, sword girls with a passion for swords. So usually only in Middle Ages men are interested in swords or swordsmanship, but thanks to the popularity of Token Nambu and how the game the create uh, or how the game turns turning swords into young beautiful men, which most female gamers fell in love with. Female players are now taking interest in studying about Japanese history and the traditional art crafts such as swordsmith. This is considered as a way to show their love to their favorite characters or swords of the games. And the growing of this community, in fact, is a big help for cultural preservation, especially for the rare art crafts such as swordsmiths and also to museums or shrines that are keeping these famous swords. Uh, together with the growing of the community of Token Joshi, we also have to mention the impact of first the CEO of Nitro Plus. So the CEO of Nitro Plus, he also loves the Japanese swordsmith and uh, is it his passion for Japanese swords uh, is the reason he created the token on Blue online, and uh, also we have to mention like you have to mention uh, d because of the fans' interest in the sword and so uh, in swords or swordsmith that also help many successful preservation projects. For example, the reconstructed Hotaru Maru, a lost national treasure since the Allies confiscated swords after World War Two, so the crowdfunding campaign raised forty five million yen far beyond its original 505 million goal uh, in, two, in uh, 2020 a crowdfunding campaign to restore 77 precious japanese souls that was submerged by torrential rain that struck the kyushu region in july the online campaign was launched on august 13 on a crowdfunding website called campfire just an hour and 30 minutes after the campaign took off it had garnered more than its initial goal of 5 million yen. The Kunozan Toshoku Shrine in Shizuoka City. The shrine collaborated with Tokenabu Game to organize a crowdfunding project to polish all sorts. So the shrine then later sent gifts to donors such as of officials character designed by Nature Plus that led to an overwhelming response. So the project reached the required goal of 5 million yen within 7 hours. The head of the Kunozanto Shogu expressed his attitude in an interview with Ondo Tourism, saying this was the first time to work in collaboration with an anime uh, game company. Uh, people also visiting the place that keep the swords. Uh, for example, a campaign in 2017 in Kyoto. So for a period of time when fans can visit shrines in Kyoto and collect stamps for the Goshuin book, uh, through this campaign, the visitor could also collect special goods of characters from Token Nambu games. All these projects were uh, either collaborate or helped by Token, Nam or Token Nambu Online Games and the Nitro Plus company. Uh, so why this is such a unique trend in uh, a unique trend in uh, in Japan by using game medium as a as a way to as uh, as a way to collect 
money for for cultural preservation projects such as Japanese swordsmiths. So first of all, fans are feeling empathy for the sword of Tokenabu, and they view the swords as treasures that need to be protected and an important part of Japanese history. So the Japanese fans are all happily donated for cultural preservation, and they also pay close attention to the Japanese history that is linked with their favorite sword in uh, in the game. So. And the crowdfunding for cultural projects like the above examples mostly came from individual donors or museums collaborating with each other. But thanks to the popularity of Tokerabu online, the game has facilitated for the process of promoting these projects right through Twitter. Uh, so, like the uh, whenever there's a sort ex uh, there's there's a sort ex uh, exhibition, either is it linked with the company or not. Uh, the official Twitter of the games always retweet this, always retweeting the projects on their official Twitter, and so is it easier for fans to get uh, to to notice this, uh, to to notice the this exhibition, and uh, it helps them to get more information about about the sword that they that they like. Uh, and, all, and also other. Although other countries such as China also make historical based games, not many of them are linked with an art craft like swordsmith such as Japan. So the theme of the game is an important aspect for it to be successfully used as a medium for cultural preservation. In in some in summary, we see that Token Rambu Token Rambu online Maybe might be I might be cons I might consider it as the first game that as the first game in in Japan that are closely linked with the cultural with the cultural reservation because because of first of all is the theme the, the the theme of of the game is using a traditional and important art craft of Japan that most people are not interested. And by successfully building its characters, it get uh, it get it gaining popularity, and the f uh, and the growing numbers of fans of 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 the game is an important aspect for the pres for the preservation project to be successful. And so we see that a medium such as game could also be used. For could also be used for the cultural preservation purposes, and I think I uh, I hope that in the future there will be more uh, medium like this game to help with the traditional preservation projects. Uh, thank you for listening to my presentation.